This is the Ego two-stage snowblower uh, battery packs, the 7.5 amp hour battery packs, and this is the quick rapid charger. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but it should be fully charged. Check the charge level by pressing the top button. See the different buttons. Flashing red defective. Constant red high temperature battery. Flashing green charging and solid green full. And these two batteries are full. So we are going to put them to the test. Again with the two. 7.5 half hour batteries we'll put it through its paces and uh, see how it does with about four inches of snow the snow is pretty light uh, it doesn't look like it's wet uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it does today is november the 11th 2022 we just had our first major snowfall i don't know if you call it major i think we got maybe four inches of snow not a huge amount but it's a good test for the new ego snowblower i purchased again with the two 7.5 half hour batteries so when uh, loading the batteries i keep them in my basement just so they stay at a decent temperature And just a little bit of pressure and it clicks. Same thing here. And click. Shut the lid. We should be ready to go. Power button. All right, so power button to turn it on. We have the lights on the front. This is the drive button, reverse. You can go to high. This is the, the auger speed. I've been told not to go to turbo because it drains the batteries quite a bit. And eco mode's usually good enough for most snow. This is for the shoot angle moving it up and down adjust the shoot angle this is for the shoot drive so the left the right based on which direction you want to shoot it it does have some shear two extra shear pins here which are good um, one thing i noticed is this snowblower is quite lighter than my old gas snowblower the majority of the material is thinner and plastic which could be good could be bad we'll have to wait and see um, but uh, for the most part uh, this is the first test uh, and we'll see how it does and we'll go from there Give you an update on my progress. I've done over half of my driveway, and the batteries are still full. One thing I've seen noticed is on our first run is when the power is down, the auger 
handle locks in, so you can actually operate without having to hand in the lock. So press the power button, and you can actually let it go. You'll run without your hand actually on the, the auger button. So just to give you an update, this is the battery power left. We've done this much of my driveway, about three quarters. Just have a little bit left more to do. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put the auger on turbo and see how much of the battery power that eats up and uh, go from there. Roughly finished what I was gonna do. The rest I'll probably, that is what battery usage was used. This is how much area was covered. And not even use one bar on the battery to do all that. One thing I've noticed too is that there is a lag from when you press the power, uh, the drive lever and the auger. You have to start with the auger to get the auger speed up before you actually get driving. Otherwise the snowblower starts to move and the auger speed is still ramping up and you just end up pushing the snow. Uh, at the end of the day, this was how much of the power was used, not even half of the battery. Uh, auger did pretty well, drive did pretty well. I did push it as hard as I could. Uh, the snow powder was soft. And disclaimer, I do use water seal on my driveway, so it does usually allow the snow to come up quite easily. But I could have easily done another 20, 25 minutes with the snowblower before the, the batteries would have been uh, depleted. So I'm pretty pleased with the amount of power and, uh, and uh, the power life of the batteries so far. Time will tell how well this uh, snowblower works out. Um, but so far I'm impressed, very light. Uh, my wife would be able to use this easily uh, and easy to move around and store. Um, because of its uh, light uh, construction material. Uh, the plastic, time will tell how well that wears in our cold. We're in uh, Manitoba, Winnipeg, Canada, where it can drop to minus 50. So, so I will do an updated video on the colder days with more snow, showing how well the, the lithium arc batteries perform in much colder weather and with much more snow. To remove the batteries, the 7.5 amp hour lithium ion batteries from the actual Yon snowblower, there's two latches here, so you kind of click like that, and they pop up like that. Just pull them out. So after the first use, some snow does look like it got into the battery region. So I'm not sure if that is going to be an issue in the future. Uh, I don't think it will since these seem to be the only contact points for the battery. I will clean that out just to make sure there's no water in there, but that is something that I did notice. That concludes uh, my video for today. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. I will be doing future updates with the snowblower and posting other videos. Uh, thank you.